Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Final Fantasy. In the last episode, we entered the Life Spring Grotto and met quite a few familiar faces. Or at least, if those are familiar, if you're familiar with Final Fantasy Summons, and if you play Final Fantasy V. Then again, I've apparently been told, a, I've been told that apparently Gilgamesh actually shows up in several Final Fantasy games, but he makes his debut in Chopper. Either way, we have reached the 11th floor, and we have been tasked by Dark Bahamut to kill one blue dragon, one yellow dragon, and I believe one green dragon. So I just, like, find them in this immense crowd? The door is locked, so... I guess I just have to pick them out from the crowd and see what I get. Oh, there's the yellow dragon. I'll do that. Well, it's one down. Got the silver dragon. That was another yellow dragon. Ooh, here's a blue dragon. Also, that last yellow dragon did an AoE and it hurt. I'm gonna do that. Ow. There we go. Please, we just need to find a green one. Oh, excuse me. That was another silver dragon. Ooh, a black dragon. Uh oh. Double check with Dark Bahamut. Okay, it's just a green dragon. Uh, what about this dragon behind us? White dragon. It's not a silver dragon, it's, it's a white dragon. Alright, what about... you? Holy dragon. Well, good luck doing anything to me. Ow. Still look a little worse for worse, so we're just gonna kill it with fire. Because I sure don't kill it first. Bop! Red dragon. Bop! Dragon zombie. Bop! Holy dragon. Bop! Black dragon. Uh, Bop! 
Green Dragon! There we go. Now, die. Okay, we did the two. I see that you were indeed worthy of proceeding. You are free to pass. But remember this, the real trial is only just beginning. Your luck's bring in the distance! Yay! Okay, here we are on Life Screen, but Life Spring Grotto B12. There is trouble to be had here. Killer Shark and Sahagin Queen. Mm. We can have the good old traditional shark for dinner. Oh god. Nerva can't kill it in one hit. Oh god. Dark Bahamut was not kidding. I may actually want to, like, save. This could be a bit overkill. Okay, give me a minute to save. There we go. What's over here? What is in this box? More gill. More gill in which I may I may bite either. It's a black goblin. Go away. Hey, a potion, thank you. There's a room over here. What's in the room? More treasure. Mind plus. What it do? A lunar card. Where the fuck did we get this? No death, okay. Raises intelligence. Okay. Gonna use that to up Tiger's damage. What's over here then? Nothing. What's down here then? Death elementals, apparently. Nothing over here. So I guess we'll just go back the way we came. Came. It's another fucking black goblin. Go away, my dude. You're outmatched. And outnumbered. You barely give any gill. Seriously, we had one enemy that could actually pose a threat, and now everybody's attacking piecemeal again. At no, be gone. It, you, you scratched my you scratched my face, and for that, my boyfriend's going to murder you. Okay, what's up here then? Oh boy, these things again. Get rid of them sharks real fuckity fast. Uh, and I'm just gonna make everybody's everybody's lives here a little bit easier. The tiger doesn't murder them all first. Nope. Saga and Queen's out of the way, though. Oh well. Saves me from wasting my mana. Okay, nothing's over here, so what's over here then? I can, I can only assume this is... I can only assume this is the way out, because... Well, everything else is like a dead end. That's a, that, that's a singular killer shark. It's going to die, probably. Don't do that. Ooh, what's in here? Nothing. Nothing but trouble. Okay. So what's over here? Nothing. <laughs> just, just straight up nothing. More, more, more gobos. Be, be gone. No, wait, I don't want to kill myself. I'm fine. Tiger needs healing. Eh, 
There you go, buddy. But I do kind of want to see what's over here first. Anything? No. Hello. I can't reach that. I have to go the other way. Okay, what's in here except for trouble and sharks? Don't do that. In here. Ether. Okay. I got a refund. So let's just head on over to the next floor. Here we are on B13. And there's already trouble afoot in the form of death elementals. Actually, I should probably be carrying Tiger because, my god. Actually, everybody could use, like, some healing, so we'll, we'll go with little healer -a. Ow. There we go. Much better. Now punch out that tornado. I still cannot believe he is doing 4-digit damage. What's in this box? Power Plus! I'll give that to Zesher to help him catch up with, uh, with, with their a bit. Because, my god, you guys were right, monks are broken. What is this? Blue trolls. Be gone. Actually, no, wait. Killera. Then be gone. Find out. Red curtain. Cast no blaze. Blue fang. Cast Thundara. Okay. And more trouble. Okay. So, there. Oh. A single death elemental. Well, when will you people ever learn? Holy shit! Congratulations on your first quad, Zesher. Okay. What's up here? I see the exit. I also see a shark. Patch everybody up, and we're gonna murder the shark. If the two walking walls of muscle in the party do not murder it first, that is. Oh god, dark eye. That's ominous. Don't do that. Out of here and get out of here. I can level up. What's over here? Absolutely nothing. Okay. B14. Oh, we're back in this lovely place again. Okay. Uh, a gloom widow. No matter, for it is only a single and we are many. Hey, wait, is this a door? Oh, it is. And that's two spiders. Can I, can I patch everybody up first? Oh, shit, Zephyr Cave. Yeah, I just do an elegant little twirl and just, no, you can't hit me because I say so. Now what? Hey, wait a second, what the fuck is that? I wanna find out. First, so it's her okay, hear me, sh hear me shoot. Okay, uh, What is that thing over there? I must know. Please get out of my way. I am- I- 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 I am the curious. I am- 
I am much curious. Can I not find out what's in there? Okay, no, no, I can, I can. What is this? We, we can't interact with it. We can't hold anymore. Well, that was a huge fucking letdown. All we got was spiders and disappointment. Over here, nothing. Okay. Let's just head back the way we came then. Oh. This way, and I guess down over here. More spiders. And one of them ro runs away because they know what's good. What's good for them anyway? What's in oh, I can't I can't proceed any further. I have to go back and I have to go up. Wild Max. I still don't know what the fuck a knack is, but at the very least they seem relatively smart, except this one. But that's okay, natural selection is a thing. Wait, what the? So we can't proceed on either side? What the shit? Okay, hold up. Actually, I don't think we went in that room. I think we may have just, like, passed it up. So... Let's fix that. It might have the answers. It might not. It probably doesn't. But if, if at the very least, it may have treasure. And if it doesn't, well, I'm gonna be disappointed. Now... Do kindly fuck off. White Fang, which probably casts another spell. Oh no, wait, this is the thing that we went in, damn it. Oh, maybe there's a way out that we didn't notice. Oh, yeah, so there is. Okay. Okay. What's over here, then? Hello, there is some sort of strange, ominous tablet. I wonder what would, what would happen if we gave it to read. First, we get these goblins out of our way. What is this? We can't read it! Okay. Why put that there, then? Get the same reason you put these dogs here, even though they're probably going to run away or die. Which is a shame. I don't like hurting animals. That's right, run away. You, you know what is best for you. The rest of these dumbasses don't, though. Okay. Alright, I guess we- oh! There's a door over here. Which is good, because there are the stairs here, and there are also goblins. I actually wonder if Quake will actually do anything this time. We're gonna get to cast it on one goblin. At the very least, it worked. Okay, here's B15 and. Back in the Sky Fortress? Oh, come on, we just left. And there are already goblins here. Back encounters are dumb. Ah, 
At the very least, we know we can conserve our mana with goblins, because basically everybody in the party can one-shot them with their physical attack. The overkill is a nice addition, though. Okay, what's up here? Other than more goblins. And more death elementals. Nothing here! Damn it! Okay, wait, hold on. This spell looks different than the others. It's probably just my imagination, but hey. Okay, no, that, that, that was, that, that was a disappointment. Speaking of disappointments, I think I'm gonna use this time to vent a little. Don't worry, it's not anything, like, super drama related, just, just a little general disappointment. Uh, so as some of you may know, Yumi Niki was actually released on Steam this, this month. And that's nice, it gives a new generation a chance to play a highly influential cult classic. The thing is, though, is that the translation is, uh, kinda, kinda faulty. Not super faulty, but, like, friggin' people are gonna know to, to look up what a Yuki Ona is. You don't have to translate it as Snow Woman, because that doesn't make sense, because just, like, it, 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 it's not just a woman in the snow, it's a fucking demon from Japanese mythology. And, uh, for some reason... So, as many people pointed out, the game's iconic save theme is... missing? And, like, that's kind of dumb, because a lot of people are pointing out that there are a lot of missing sounds that are still in the game's files, and that that that's still kind of dumb, because, like, there's it wasn't removed for, like, copyright, I know that much, because I believe Kikiyama did the game's music himself? I'm not entirely sure here it's a potion uh, but yeah so if you see Yume Niki on the Steam store and it is free by the way at the very least you can say that you didn't waste money on a on a game that is well honestly kind of incomplete some, some of the game's most famous things like apparently from what a lot of people say uh the game's like encounter called face is also missing and like Hey, what the fuck? Don't just, like, cut content from the Steam port, my dude. So, honestly, if, you, if you're interested in playing Yume Niki because it's out on Steam now, good for you. But personally, I... Not to be an elitist, but mostly because there are just, like, flagrantly stuff missing, I recommend finding the original fans translation. Luckily, they, uh, have it downloadable so that, basically, it already comes- it comes pre-translated, you don't have to jump through hoops like I had- like I had to back in the day. So that's good. So yeah, I just wanted to vent about that a little, and just, like, give you guys a proper warning. But- Something, uh, on a positive note, something I am excited about is that, uh, with this Steam release comes apparently a teaser for a new Yume Niki project. Now, they haven't said what it is, naturally, friggin' Kikiyama didn't say what it was before, and then it reveals that there's gonna be a manga, which turned out to be a lackluster at best. And, uh, a soundtrack done by Machigarita, which, that, 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 that really butters my egg roll. Fucking Yume Niki no Tame no Walls, though. Okay, but, uh, yeah. Back, back, back on subject. Uh, nobody knows what it is, because, like, the only thing that it links to is a countdown, which, 
Initially, I thought since Kadokawa was hosting the countdown, I thought we may be getting like a new Yume Nikki light novel or maybe a better manga. But then I remembered they've also published a few games like the Lunar series, Killer is Dead, Lollipop State Chainsaw, etc. So I mean, fuck, if Kikiyama's coming back and we're getting a new Yume Nikki game, consider me absolutely fucking thrilled. A new manga wouldn't be a miss either because, oh god, and god the manga we got. Cause, uh, well, I think I'll just like put up like a, oh that was disappointing. But, uh, I guess I'll put up a little spoiler warning here because I am, I am going to talk about the manga and a, a spoiler. Basically in the manga, uh, you know that cute alien, that cute crying alien you can run into when you, cra when you crash Masada's ship, uh, Marsan? Well, apparently in the manga, instead of Marutsuki's dreams being her own, they're just a separate metaphysical realm that, uh, it's pretty much outright said that Mars likes to trap people in. Like, I know the manga isn't canon, I know it's just the author's interpretation of the events of Yumeniki. However, if you're gonna pick a villain for the story, are you really going to look at the alien that just sits there and cries all the time and go, hmm, yes, clearly a manipulative mastermind that likes to keep people locked away in a metaphysical mind realm. Yes, this is a good idea. They actually did depict Uboa pretty decently, although they, I wish that they had uh, given more attention to his better half, Poniko, but in terms of a villain, why not the Tori Ningen? Why not Monoe? She's, like, smug and sneering enough. Maybe use face and use that as a means of elaborating on that a little bit more. Or maybe even make the villains, like, maybe the jellyfish that follow Matsuki around and show up in the ending. It'd be a better choice than fucking Mars, son. But yeah, point being is that, like, you should absolutely play Yume Nikki. Just, uh, if you want to play the Steam version, and, like, even after, like, what I have said, that's fine. Just know that there are a few what-the-fuck moments in translation. There are a few missing things from the game. Just, you know, just go in knowing that, and, uh, look stuff up if you need to. I mean, Lord knows there's plenty of videos about it on YouTube. And just... Yeah, honestly, I'm still, like, pretty happy that it's making a comeback for a new generation, because a lot of, like, a lot of games on the indie horror scene have been either largely or maybe even minimally influenced by Yume Nikki. In fact, it's been so long since Yume Nikki's initial heyday that, uh, a lot of people are more familiar with Yume Nikki's fan games, like, a lot of people are more familiar with Dot Flow, or Ultraviolet, or Misery, or any other, like, dream exploration game that took its, uh, took its inspiration from the original. Hell, even I personally think that a bunch of fan games have long since come along and done Yume Nikki's ideas better. However, it's also important to appreciate the thing that started it all. It helps a lot of developers remember what got people to like their stuff in the first place and make a return to form if they have to. It's why a lot of people still appreciate, well, this game I'm playing now. I mean, yeah, there have long since been Final Fantasies that have done the idea of Final Fantasy better, but this was still the first. Without Final Fantasy 1, we wouldn't have Final Fantasy 6, or 7, or 9, or any of the other fantastic games in this franchise. I wouldn't have my favorite game of all time, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, without Final Fantasy 1. So, yeah, play you mini key. And, I guess while, like, I'm already shilling to high hell here, uh, I guess I may as well point something else out, and I guess since these next, uh, things that I'm going to be talking about do cost money, I may as well throw up a little, like, not sponsored here. I'm just, like, talking about this kind of stuff because I like it. So, if you don't know, some of the games that I've played on this channel, uh, are now on Steam. Uh, stuff like Mad Father, Misao, uh, Alice Mare, stuff like that is now on Steam. Uh, they're not very expensive, I think, like, maybe 
like five bucks at best for one of them. And, uh, yeah, some have even made a few changes, like, for Miwa, for, uh, Miwa Shiba's Alice Mare and also their Light Eat series, which I've been planning on, uh, picking up, uh, those are just, like, direct ports if you just want to support Miwa Shiba. As for Sin, though, ever since uh, I played, uh, his two famous games, uh, Misawa and Mad Father, he's actually uploaded them to Steam with, like, I believe, like, retouches to the graphics, new content, I think, like, a couple new endings, and stuff like that. So, if you want to, like, you know, go over to Steam and pick up a copy of that to support Sin, then yeah, go on ahead. I've honestly been considering buying it myself. I don't think I'll ever do a- I don't think I'll, uh, do a Let's Play of it since, you know, I already have a Let's Play of my father on the channel already, but I do want to see what kind of new content that he put in the game. Also, now that I think about it, I may have been, like, better off making a separate video talking about RPG Maker Horror stuff, but honestly, I'm just better at, like, improvising and yakking about stuff, even if it doesn't always turn out great, because just, I cannot write a script to fucking save my life. Actually, this building looks different. I wonder- Oh! Okay! Okay. Oh boy, it's this shit again. Uh, bam. Hey, potion. Uh, nothing. Uh, ah! Gloom Widows. Fuck off. down here. There's B19. Cause like, okay, uh, just, just, I'm, I'm not gonna run on spikes for a bunch of items I probably already have. Or won't do much. God, Nerva, honey. Okay, let's let's heal Nerva up a bit. There you go. That one's over here. Hey, we got another Zephyr Cape out of that. I wonder if, uh... Nope. He already has his Protect Cloak. Actually, I wonder. Is it any better? No, it's worse. What's in the box? More Hermes shoes. We don't need those. Sage's Surplice. What the fuck is that? Robe that, in that enhances intelligence. Okay. It's. Mm. Huh, Tiger actually has more defense than me now. I guess I'll equip it. Okay. Uh. Get out of the way, please. Uh, oh, come on, back to back encounters, really? Nope. Now you die. Yeah, 
yeah, we should be relatively close to the end now. I can't hold anymore, okay? What's over here? Trouble. Death elementals, to be precise. But they stand, like, literally no match for us. Oh, well, I see the stairs. That's good. Speed plus. Raises agility. Well, Nerve is already a dodgy motherfucker. May as well make him even dodgier. Okay, I see the stairs. So... First we fight these sharks, apparently. off to the side. Yep, there it is. Okay, hold on. Okay, everybody's patched up, the game is saved. Hello. I am that which follows Omega. You are Shinryu. Oh boy. Actually, you can use Protect now, yeah? Yeah, okay. Let's work on getting up for Tex and a temper. Uh oh. Ow! Yeah, healer needs to happen like now. Uh oh. Oh. Okay then. Let's just go ahead and fix that. wipe and it only happened in the late game let's try that again it's a good thing that I save because if you wipe you get kicked to the back to the very entrance of the life spring grotto so let's try that again in fact I think this time I may actually cast it in Vizera. I 
and like when I have the chance to, uh, I I may I may cast no all. But for now, oh god. Spells wasted. Let's get full life going. Uh, just use an X potion on yourself so that way you survive. me, I guess. Damn it. Cast on us first. Okay, that works too, I guess. Make me waste more of my mana, why don't you? You fucking moldy quiche. Wait, no, 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 not holy. I highly doubt something named Shinryu is going to be weak to holy god. back up. Okay. Now that I have the time, protect. Oh, no, no, not, not, not for you. Holy shit. Uh, actually, I get Shiraja. Oh, 
Please work. Nope. There is no hope. Okay, let's just hope he, uh, let's just quietly pray together that he doesn't use a Okay. Oh wait, fuck. Well we lost anyway, hold on. Okay. I've been grinding all fucking weekend. What the fuck is up? You are going to die. And that's all there is to say about that. There's no We have more health than before, so fuck you, mate. Just, just, just. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're going to die. And there's nothing you can do about it. You and your little bitch friend that I found in the other room. I haven't fought him yet, but oh, oh am I gonna. Probably anyway. I also learned Hilaga. What's up? You're you're dead. You're dead, son. You're just, you're just dead. And if it sounds like I'm mad, I am. Mostly at myself. But I am. I'm just gonna get a preemptive Hilaga. Because fuck you, that's why. I have ethers out the ass, so I don't care. Another preemptive Hiraga, because we know he's probably going to pull some bullshit eventually. Where's haste? There's haste. Yep, there it is. That's okay, because I have the preemptive Hiraga ready. Ah, isn't that nice? Isn't it also nice? As Zesher has 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 capped HP. I think that's pretty swell. There's Ice Storm, but that's okay, because I, I have the high ground. I have a better fucking healing spell. But of course I can't give Zesher all the credit for being me. There's also my lovely boyfriend, who can, who, who can punch harder than ever now, to the point that he's probably going to punch out some sort of weird dragon god. And Tiger, Tiger can nuke things. <sighs> this fight is going so much smoother now that I've taken the time to reload an entire fucking save because you can't teleport out of here and then level up and then do a bunch of things that I should have done. But, the, you know, just, let, let's not, let's not worry about that. Let's worry about the fact, well, let's not worry about the fact, let's, let's bask in the fact that Shiryu is going to die. I can't say a definite win, but he's going to die. That is, that is a definite fact. He's going to die by our hands. And there's not a damn thing anybody can do about it. I've never played Final Fantasy V, which is apparently where all these cameos are coming from, except for, like, Atomos, since he's just kind of a universal summon. But if I do, and I, and I might, I definitely dread running into this asshole. Let's 
see if something else does more damage than Flare. Ah, not really. Not 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 sun dug up. But it doesn't matter. Shinryu is 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 Shinryu. I got the Ragnarok sword. Is it better than Excalibur? Yes, yes it is. I'll take that. Thanks. I'll also take what's whatever the fuck is in this box. It's a hero shield. How lovely. I'll take that Aegis shield and just oh. It doesn't even raise defense. That's okay though, because he still has higher evasion now. That's nice. I'm gonna heal up real quick. Okay, now that that's done, why is the door locked? Change Force bars the door. Okay, I guess we can only pick one boss. That's okay. I have the. But I, I, I'm I'm okay with forsaking one boss to kill the one that I have that I now have a personal vendetta against. Unless we ever feel like going back in, which, after all of this, I don't. Let's let let's let's leave. Okay, what's over here? Nothing. It's a room with no doors. So I guess we just take this and we we just we just get gone. So that was uh, that was the that was the uh. The Life Spring Grotto, and from what I've been told, it's one of the hardest ones. So hopefully, the other three, or hopefully just two of the other three, should be a little bit smoother. But until then, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy. I'll, I'll see you guys then, and take care.